All right, let's get straight to it. 2014 Chevy Cruze. This is the 1.4 liter engine. All right, so in order to get to this piece here, we have to remove this. And also, it'll be the same to get to this um, lower radiator hose. So let's go ahead and remove this by taking up, loose, loosening this hose clamp here and this hose clamp here, and we should be able to remove this whole piece. So by removing this piece now, you can see everything we need to access. So there's a hose clamp right there. We need to pull that hose clamp off, and then we can remove that piece there, and that basically attaches to this, which is attached to this part. So let's get that hose clamp up, and then to get this part out here, all you have to do is squeeze this two tabs here and pull off. So squeeze where you have these ribs here and on the other side and pull off of the metal part and that should re release this. All right, so I was able to pop this off pretty easily once I squeeze these two tabs here. Let me get a better look so you can see. So you squeeze these two on the outside and then you'll be able to pull this all the way off. And then you pull it up out of these two um, clips. And then this one here, it normally clipped in like that. You just pull this piece up and pull that out. And same thing with this, you pull this piece up and pull that back. And only thing holding it in there is this clip. So you pull that clip out like this, it was all the way in. And once you pull that clip out, you're able to twist and pull until this thing comes up. Okay, just pull the clip all the way out just to be sure. There it goes. So I just pulled the clip all the way out just to be sure and it came right up. So um yeah, so now we're gonna go ahead with the other hose. We're not gonna put this the new hose in here yet. Well actually there's one more piece still connected down here. That little um piece that's on here is still connected down here so we're gonna go ahead and get that piece off you can't see it from here but I can see it and I can feel it so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that piece off so I got the old piece out. This is the new piece. But before I put the new piece on, if I put it on here, it's gonna block this one. And I need to change this one. So we're gonna change this hose first. This this one basically. So it just got two ends with the same um, little uh, retainer. So if we pull this retainer um, the, on the old one all the way out, um, then we should be able to pull that old hose off. So let's pull those two retainers, this one here and the one down there. And we should be able to pull that hose off. All right, so that came off pretty easy after getting those retainers out. So we're gonna do the same exact thing backwards. We're going to install the new one now. Um, Normally, you don't have to pull these clips out. You should be able to just push it on while giving it a little, little wiggle while pushing. So let's try that first. If not, then we'll take these clips halfway out at least. Okay, so I was able to snap the uh, new holes on on both sides. Pretty simple. Just got to give it a little firm press while you're twisting, and it will snap right on. Now... We can focus on the last piece, which is this one here. So let's start with this side here. Pretty simple. Just um, once we get it inside of these little things, we can push this side down until you click, hear it click. So the same thing with those, you're gonna twist and push. You hear it click there. So that is in. So we can go ahead and button up these parts of it here. We're gonna, we're gonna need this piece later to install. 
I'm just gonna tuck that down where it belongs. And just keep routing it and clipping it in. Here's another one. You can route that piece there. And all the way around till you get back to this. And the same thing, just go ahead and push that in. So that clicks in pretty much. All right, you hear that? So that's clicked in now. So the only pieces left are the, the, these two ends here. You got this end and the one on that side. So don't forget you route this down here because you need to get it on this nipple right there. So we're gonna route this down and get that on there. So I'm gonna get that on there real quick and come right back. Okay, so this part is completely on now. I have the the um the vacuum line in the back on. I have the vacuum line in the front on and I have both of these sides in firmly. So, and of course I have that lower hose on down there. So I can go ahead and put this breather tube back on and tighten down these two hose clamps. All right, so we got the battery terminal back on and everything is done. Everything is done. We got all the hoses changed. So all we have to do now is fill this coolant back up. And I have this coolant here, so we're going to go ahead and get that done. So as I'm filling this, what I do is I remove this top hose from here. This hose that runs from here to here, I removed it for now so that it can vent. And while once uh, coolant starts to come out of here, then I'll put that hose back on and finish filling it. But for now, I'm going to fill it with this hose off. Okay, so you can see it's a little wet down there. As soon as it started to come out of there, I popped this hose back on. And now we can finish filling from the top. All right, so as you can see, I got it covered up because it's nice and filled now. So that's pretty much it, guys. All the hoses are changed and it, the coolant's filled back up. So that's it. That's how you change all of the coolant hoses on a 2014 Chevy Cruze. And again, we did them all except for the upper radiator hose. I mean, the upper, except for the upper um, heater core hose. So if you wanted to change that, you would just pull that um, clip the same way we pulled all the others. And that hose actually comes up down underneath here. So if you need to change that hose, that's how you get to that one.